Hi, I'm Jens Böller. I'm your host for the Mini C++ Online Job Fair, which will be in two weeks. And I thought I record a quick video about it and show you a bit like behind the scenes and stuff which you as a candidate don't see and probably as an interested employer, uh, that's stuff which you will see once you sign up uh, for the sponsorship of the program. And I thought I'd you know just talk you a bit through this. Uh, so the event is set in, in a, as a two-day event, once in the afternoon, once in the evening, to kind of accomplish uh, that you know European hosted uh, audience can join from all of those days, and that Asia and America also has a chance to either one events. Um, and as you can see. For the event in two weeks, already two companies have signed up as sponsors, Lumix and IVU, technology, traffic technologies. And thank you very much for you know sponsoring this event that again makes it possible for me to um, kind of you know continue this work and improve the event. There's some improvements. I'm going to talk about that later. Also, um, SoftDrive and ThinkThread have signed up again. And at least think that is again uh, there. And I don't know if soft drive, maybe they were uh, there last time. I don't remember that so much. Um, but definitely companies are returning and uh, they're successful finding a lot of candidates. Um, I'm going to have some statistics in a, in a minute. Um, let's go to um, this is a view, kind of the recruiting view, OK, uh, where you, for the first view, which you see now, is like you see how many candidates you have from which countries this is the statistics. And as a test, I only have like one submission for testing. Um, so you see this is from the Philippines. If you scroll a bit, then you see the field where like all your uh, submissions are. And then um, again, you can see like a general um, overview over those submissions as a statistic. Uh, this is, to me, very important to give you those statistics because that makes it easy to communicate that with your boss or with anyone else, with your team. You know what was the result of the event, how many candidates came, and um, if I go back to the can to the event, the event is on the twenty eighth and the twenty ninth, um, and it's three hour long. But if you sign up as a sponsor, you're able to get candidate profiles all the time, OK? You're not limited to the event. You will be able to attend the event to talk to a lot of uh, candidates there, get them to know, and uh, have a bit of fun with them. But um, you will receive a lot of CVs of people which are not able to attend in those three hours for whatever reason. Maybe you know they, they, they need to work, or maybe they you know have something else on that day. But they still you know are looking for a new position, and they would like to submit. So this is uh, the. The, the, the really the advantage of sponsoring the event is um, it make it helps me in making the event more successful that I can communicate a bit better and more visual with your logos, which I do, and it gives you a bit more of ex exposure on the website and the communication, and also it gives you the full exposure to every candidate that wants to submit in that phase. Okay, um, and. This is a view where you basically can overlook at all, can have, can have a look at all the candidates. Uh, currently not implemented, I plan to also have a search there so that you can search through your submissions and like particularly like search on the country, the candidate name, but also like what they have in their um, message standing and other things. Um, and the way the candidates submit to you is via a form and here it is. This is the employer view of the CV upload form. Okay. So normally this view, this form looks a little bit different, but for an employer, this, this is the way it looks like this is the way they can choose from, you know, from which area do they want to have candidates. Um, a new thing which I implemented now is the relocation level. Um, and also, which I'm going to add is the uh, level like, are you want to work remote? And like, how remote should it be? Like, should it be country, continent, and international again? I added remote here to that. But um, 
I'm going to remove that again because it's, it's, that's a bad mix up. Um, so it's going to be like uh, you're going to have like non country and continent and international as remote options too. Uh, and in the form for the candidates, it's going to be a drop down where they then can say, I want to be in the country remote, I want to be in a continent remote, or just internationally available as a remote candidate. And companies then also can decide if they want to see that and they can filter after that. Um, then we have the C skills. Um, where candidates can give a profile, but companies can do the same thing. A company can say, I want to see candidates which know Qt, and I want them to speak C17 because we are planning to go to Qt6, and then that's important. Um, and I'm probably going to add a bunch more in that too, like, like CMake, for example, it's just, you know, build systems is not covered in here, and maybe you want to have that. Um, but let's say you also want to have. Uh, modern C++ and um, you're interested in people which are Windows or Linux and um, OP is important in your code base. And now you can say it's a minimum match, okay? Um, you can say, I want a candidate which has at least three of these, okay? They don't have to have everything. Per default, they have to have one, but maybe as a company you want to be picky, then you pick one. Uh, you pick like three or that's up to you, you know, it's, 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 it's going to, of course, you know, water down your results. It's, it's going to be more precise in the, the CVs you get, but you're going to get less CVs. Um, then I have a similar choice for the fields of work people. We have people experience and working in, okay, like desktop and embedded, and then this will filter. And in, in the form for the candidate, they can, you know, just give you this profile of where they have work experience. Um, candidates also give the years of experience. And as, a, as, a, as an employer, you can say, this is the minimum of uh, experience and years we want. And per default, when you sponsor the event, this all will be empty, okay? You will receive every CV, you will match with every candidate. And um, I plan also to have this available as a search. So if you match with everyone, you still can search through those candidates with this form. And even if you match with the candidate, the candidate still has to decide to uh, match with you as a company. It's not automatically that they just, you know, get shared. It's still their decision if they want to share that with them. Um, And when we talk about candidates, this is an overview area. I have a blog row, I have a, a blog um, published about this, which is a bit more precise and a bit more text. But here we have a bit more images to look at. Um, the C++ skills of the last event when we first had this data, um, or first had the, the form worked like that for the first in the time in the last event. And this is the candidate results, which we had like from 60 candidates, um, over 50 new C++ 11. Uh, Linux is very popular, C++ 14, OP, and C++ 17 are kind of the top five. And um, things like Boost and Qt, if that's important to your Q uh, code base, um, you might want to filter after that. That's like one of the, the practical things uh, this form allows. Um, and when we see with the fields, um, I added robotics as a new field, maybe as you spotted. Uh, that wasn't available the last time. Um, and this is both of that is multi, mul multiple choice for candidates, of course. So um, this is the results for the chosen fields. And there you see that we had a lot of candidates which have experience in desktop and embedded and server. Uh, and if we look at the years of experience, um, this is also kind of interesting to see, you know, from which fields people come, but also how many, how much experience do they have? And I find that particularly interesting to see. Um, that of course we have you know more junior developers and people with not 20 years experience looking, but also they exist. There's a few of them, but like 20, 25 years of experience. Wow, that's cool. And from the countries, this is like the first event and the second event on the right. Um, the first event had a lot more sponsors with companies from various places in Europe, though we had a lot stronger. Uh, candidate response in Europe. But of the other reason was that 
the the second event which had a lot of candidates again from india and india has always been popular with the form and i have a lot of reach in india um the second event was at the end of may and that was not hugely popular with the companies but also with the candidates um so while we have like more submissions from more countries it's a bit a different makeup and um i suspect this is growing again especially if we get more uh, companies to sponsor this and to be behind this um the whole event is as a format it's unique and it's very successful and i hope that um the next event in in september uh, we will see a lot of candidates and companies talking to each other And that brings me back to the job fair page. Uh, thanks again to Lumix and IVU Traffic De Technologies. Um, if you as a, as, as, a, as a company want to sponsor this, that's very easy. Uh, that's available here if you register for a sponsor table. Um, he has also listed kind of what uh, that gives you. And um, there's a free table option which will give you a two seat table in the conference and um it will be hosted in hobilo and actually let's close it with a quick preview into hobilo um that is the september meeting which is uh, on thursday which is not a job fair but it also has this launch and in this launch the candidates will be able then the, your logos will be in 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 this place um will be able to find you and they have some other ideas which hosting on hobilo will you know change the event but um, for now, we're going to hang out on the launch and you're going to have be able to talk to three candidates, which I think is a good number. Um, and yeah, with that, thank you for listening. If I go back, then um, I'm happy to see all of you at the conference of candidates. Yeah, candidates I should talk to too. Um, candidates are often very interested in all the things which employers know. So be sure you kind of link to your career page um, in the logo because that's something I didn't point out. The logos are linked. Okay, so candidates actually can uh, click on that. And um, yeah, if, if you click on your career page, then people directly will land in, in, in your job offerings and know where, where to go for that. And with that, thank you for listening. Hope to see many, many of you at the event in the end of September.